In this section of Test New Player Orientation, we'll be going over the user interface, otherwise known as the UI. If you press Escape, you'll open up the main menu, which will default to the previous tab that you were just on. Test New Player Orientation isn't meant to teach you every aspect of PlanetSide 2, but to set you up with a baseline level of knowledge so you can have a more enjoyable play session. Because of that, we will not be going over every menu and option in the main menu, but we will go over the important ones. In the lower left is the support button. If you select it, you'll notice two important options. Ask for help and report a bug. You can use ask for help to create a support ticket that goes to a customer service representative that can help you clear up an issue. Common problems are purchases or transactions not going through when you buy them, or with certs or station cash, items you buy not appearing in your inventory anymore, or not being able to spawn from spawn beacons because it says you still have 29 days left. These are all common issues that can be solved by filling out a support ticket by clicking the support button and then ask for help. The next button, report a bug, allows you to create a small bug report. You will not get a response for these. Never ever get in the mindset that because you noticed a bug, it's obvious because it's obvious it would have already been reported. Anytime you see a bug, if it affects you, try to report it. Even with an experienced team of testers, bugs get through. An experienced team of testers means that they're going to be more routine, they're going to have a much more stable rhythm of testing, and they're going to have dedicated test plans that rarely change. Because of this, smaller or sometimes more obnoxious issues can kind of sift through them unnoticed. But because PlanetSide 2 has hundreds of thousands of players, it's just more eyes on the product to find those random rough edges. By submitting a ticket, you help ensure that the quality of PlanetSide 2 is maintained. So be sure to submit a bug report if you notice one. And definitely do this if you're playing on the test server. Back to the main menu. On the lower left you have the profile button, which we have currently selected right now. Here you can see your battle rank and you equipped boosts. Boosts are generally things you spend station cash on. Station cash again being real money in order to increase your experience gain or your resource gain. You can get to the same tab by selecting the tab over here. Leaderboard, of course, like boosts, will take you to the leaderboard section. Stats will take you to stats. Under membership, you can see what your current membership level is and what the next one will give you. In the upper right, under your name, you can select what title you want to appear on your name in game. You get new titles every few battle ranks. The map tab allows you to quickly check out maps one for each continent. This gives you a quick glance at the battlefield and shows you where the front lines are. Here you can also find the redeploy buttons, the instant action button, and the squad deploy button if you're in a squad. Although we will go over the map in more detail when we get to game mechanics, 
You should be aware those buttons on the right can be used to get more information or show less information, depending on what your needs are. The classes tab looks and acts very similar to the infantry terminals that you find around bases or at the warp gate. You can create loadouts here, and you'll get more loadout slots as you rank up in battle. The max unit is an infantry unit that costs resources to pull and is on a timer. It's a very powerful unit, and unlike other classes, cannot be healed by a medic, but is instead repaired by the engineer. We recently got buffed in a recent patch, so our maxes are not exactly on parity with other max units, but are definitely a lot more threatening. By default, Maxes are equipped with a Quasar and a Comet. The Comet is an anti-vehicle gun, but it can also be used to hit infantry. The Quasar is basically an accurate carbine. You can't aim down sights with a Max unit, so you have to be aware that they're not necessarily a long-range answer. The most important thing you should be aware of is that unlike other classes and vehicles, the Max actually has another weapon unlocked by default, and you can equip it any time at an infantry terminal by hitting primary weapon 2 and equipping the right arm burster arm. The right arm burster arm is an anti-aircraft flat cannon. One arm alone is enough to deter most flying vehicles. If you're getting harassed by a mosquito or a reaver in the air, you can always switch to a max, equip your right arm burster, and fire at them. This alone is usually enough to get them fly away. Only experienced pilots will know exactly how many bursters are in the area based on the flak damage they're taking. You are not defenseless if you are being attacked by air. A level 1 character can defend themselves with no cert investment. The vehicle tab is very similar to the classes tab. Unlike infantry again, there's no hidden weapons that you need to equip in order to become useful. They're all available right here. Like the infantry tab, you can access the certifications directly from this tab. Or you could select the Certifications tab. The Certifications tab has a section that cannot be accessed anywhere else, which is the Leadership section. In the Leadership section, you can unlock the Command Channel, which is only useful for the Vanyu Sovereignty of Matterson. Although, it has some degree of usefulness for other servers and other factions. It is ridiculously well maintained and serviced on our server, on our faction. If you need help, be sure to request help from the command channel if you're speeding a squad. Here you can also get different smokes. Your different waypoints can be seen by everyone in your squad or platoon, but smoke can be seen by everyone on your faction. In the region. It's very useful to try and point out an area of attack or defense for the public. Also under squad leadership certs, is under the logistics side, is spawn beacon. By spending 30 certs at level 10, any squad leader can drop down a beacon that their squad mates can then spawn on. When they spawn, they'll drop at flight ceiling onto the location near the spawn beacon. This allows you to quickly access areas that are normally inaccessible by most classes, such as the Heavy Assault. Every time you upgrade it, 
you remove another 15 seconds from your infantrymen being able to spawn on your spawn beacon. By default, if they die, they have to wait 2 minutes and 15 seconds before they can use the beacon again. But maxed out, they only have to wait a minute and 15 seconds. A minute 15 seconds is a lot less time than the average player survives. This basically gives them instant access to your spawn beacon before it's destroyed. At the depot, you can see the store. This is where you spend real money in order to gain weapons. Planetside 2 isn't play to win, but you can pay to make getting your access to your weapons a lot faster, or buy cosmetic items. If you want to be more frugal, there's a daily deal every day. It's seemingly randomized, and can generally give you some pretty good deals. They also have weekly sale bundles, which you can also find by hitting the bundles tab. You can also see when other bundles are appearing, but you can't find out what's in the bundle until it was released. But there's a trick. For example, if you would think a weapon's in the bundle and you just want to make sure, and it's not out yet, you can search for the weapon name, such in this case I'm searching Quasar. Since the bundle doesn't appear in this list, we know that the Quasar doesn't appear in the maxed out bundle. Maybe the comet. As you can see, the search feature is a little bit flaky. Why is the engineer composite helmet pops up when I search comet? We'll never know. The last section on the main menu is the social tab, which you can use in order to find different squads or platoons for yourself to join. The ones listed are the public squads that you can join. If you're in an outfit, you will also see it listed as well. If you can't find your outfit in the list, you can always hit the outfit filter in the upper right. This will show only your squads listed. You can do the same thing for your friends checkbox. Also on the social tab is the voice and chat section. Here you can set up different options for the proximity voice chat or outfit volume. If you add squad, platoon, or leader chat, you can also set their individual voice channel volumes as well here. Under the social tab, you also have the video section, which allows you to record locally and upload to YouTube or stream directly to twitch.tv. If you are more interested in streaming, you can give these a try and see if you enjoy it. If you do, be sure to check out my previous video on how to record locally and stream using open broadcaster software for higher quality videos. If you have any questions of the UI, be sure to ask me in-game over TeamSpeak or send me a message.